Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Uh, once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go. I'm starting this thing. It's nighttime. Uh, usually, recently, I've been doing it all in the daytime in the last like two weeks. And also, the sun is, uh, you know, doing its like regular thing, which is going down earlier and it's getting a little bit. Is it getting colder? Or is it like just like a fluke, uh, or something, or is this the natural progression? Now these days, you know, uh, it's hard to know what is uh, a fluke and what is natural. Like, is this uh, is this like natural slow change, or is this one of these weird? heat domes. Are we in a cold dome or is it only two seconds or is it getting in the fall? These are a lot of things. I just got some pizza and uh, I'm going to go sit on the couch but I, I didn't start up this computer stuff. Maybe I should have started this before. Sometimes I start it before but not today and if uh, something goes wrong with the tapes then I didn't do the, the, the uh, uh, fail safe. So, the, I guess the fail-safe is the, like what is the fail-safe? One, one of the fail-safes fails, that's how, what it's for. But then, you don't have the other one. So then you're concerned about one fail-safe uh, failing. And that, yep, there are all kinds of fail-safes in place. Um, it's Monday. We'll see if uh, James and Heather get here. That's why I'm here at nighttime. We're going to have to see what I'm going to be doing in the future. Uh, who knows what the future holds. Weird things. Weird things. Different things, maybe. Why is this not going? It should be on, on YouTube, but it's uh, not connecting right now. Stop. Uh-huh, now I'm going to do this, reload this thing, and then reload the other thing, and then I think we're going to be on YouTube Live, maybe, if it works out. Okay, now that's gone. I'm reloading two things. Now, go. Is it working? Is the, uh, oh, there it goes. Now I'm going to go sit on the couch, eat some pizza, see if uh, James and Heather show up. Whoa! That was okay, that was old rice. <laughs> I spent a little bit of rice. What's going on on, on the uh, uh, couch today? Hey, look, outside is dark. Inside, also pretty dark. Uh, I'm going to get the lamp on. Oh, okay, what do I do with my water? Didn't I just have it? Or did I uh, put it over here for myself? I did. Oh, wow. Uh, um, make my way to the couch. It's difficult now. There's lots of things in the way. And uh, I have my little spot to store myself. Again, this is how often it is in here. Two little spots to store myself. Just, just enough so I can get in there. I got to... Um, I gotta stop spreading out. I'm moved into my grandmother's house like three, four days ago. All the things are still there. And my grandmother was uh, old. And she kept her house very clean. Like more than anybody else I know, probably. And it was just nothing, no stuff. And I already can see after being there for a week, I'm like, how did, how did grandma do it? Maybe she consistently cleaned up after herself. <laughs> That's the way you clean. But uh, now I gotta clean again. I gotta, like giving up to my grandma's standards because she actually said that she would haunt us if anything happened. Oh wow, look at that. 
The, uh, the weather change makes me feel wistful now that it's, it's comfortable out. Um, like, wow, I feel comfortable, but do I feel the comfort of life now? I also ran into somebody from the before times at Old School Pizza where I was running into them before. Uh, it's weird. But yesterday I was here at, uh, on the program on Tuesday, oh, not Tuesday. That's if you go forward. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. That's right. You want to try to find it? Yeah, it looks like I could probably fit if we move some things. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Are um, you telling that you went into someone? Well, um, I'm going to get to uh, and that was what just happened. I always want to say what I just did. Like, I'm getting here. I guess what I just did, but I want to get around to that. I want to start from yesterday, get around to what's the thing. Maybe I forget. Sometimes I'm like, I see the thing that I just had seen outside, and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm saying. Like, because I'm like, <laughs> I'm over here, which is a plan. But they're not really supposed to do it in the first place. If I start thinking about plans, it never works. So, yeah, so I, I try to plan things, and that's why I made my mistake. Because then later on, I can be like, oh, I saw that thing, I didn't say anything. It was like, that was your fault for even uh, saying that you might say something. Planning. If you don't plan anything, you can never be disappointed. But that's always hard to do things. But maybe the difficulty is where the fun lies. But uh, yesterday on Sunday, I was here. Uh, I don't know what what happened yesterday. Was you in there? We were on for the Sunday. Uh, you you weren't here. Uh, Sunday. You weren't here, but... Drawing. Oh, we did something in the day, and then I left, and then... Oh. Was your brother in, in, on the show, too? Yeah, we moved a bunch of stuff here to the studio before, and then I was here after that, so that must have been around 3 o'clock. I told my brother to come get me, but then I kind of tricked him in a way to getting on the program in the last 20 minutes. I'm like... He came to the studio and we were leaving in like five minutes, but it really was like 20 minutes. And then he sat there and he was not happy about being on the program, but then also he didn't have anything else to do. He's like, I want to go do nothing. I'm like, yeah, do nothing. It's nice to do nothing, but you got to do a program. He doesn't want to do the one to the program, want to do nothing. It's like I could easily slip into what my brother's doing, which is like absolutely nothing. I'm, I'm doing next to nothing, which is this. Uh, yeah, it's kind of next to nothing. But so. I, Andrew was here, he was here for the last like 20 minutes and not saying anything. Oh, he's just sitting there. Just sitting there going That's like, hard to do, I can't even. Uh, yeah, it's like, how do you, like, how do you even not say things? He was, uh, hey, Carl Sr. What are you uh, doing? About? What are you doing? About? Why would you do that kind of thing? Yeah, <laughs> um, yesterday, uh, yeah, Andrew was here, but he's saying like one syllable things, you know? I'm like, yes. how are you doing? Good. <laughs> yes. And then it's all questions. And then when people don't say anything, it's not questions. And now I've, I've kind of learned to try to not to say questions. You just say things. But then you stop. <laughs> and then like, are you going to get a response? If it's not a question? Like, why ask me so many questions? I'm like, that's what talking is. <laughs> or maybe. I, yeah, I, I feel like on some of the Tuesdays we've been hanging out with my Uncle Dan and uh, asking him questions. You always got to make sure that it's, uh, you say, tell me about this thing, rather than, did you have a good time? Because they'll just say, yes, I had a good time. It's like, how was it? Good. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, sometimes you just got to be like, tell me about it. Or like, what did you think of this thing? Yeah. It's like framing the questions mm. that are, uh, make it easy, or diff it basically makes it difficult to answer if you're going to answer the question, it's difficult to answer it yeah. in a one word one. It's like the opposite of lawyer stuff, you know, when you're a lawyer. You're something's moving, that? something's falling over there. Yeah, moving things around, it makes other things move, I guess. When you're a lawyer, you're supposed to get them to say yes or no questions. Oh. So you, like, so that way they don't, uh, they don't elaborate. So yeah. You don't, you don't want them to elaborate, you're trying to get them to, on your own narrative. Would you like to incriminate yourself today? No. Would not. Well, like, is there a possibility you could have killed them? Or that, that, that's so once you guess or no, I don't know what, I don't know what a non, yes did, or no question is. Did you not kill that person? Yeah. <laughs> that's not yes or no either, I guess. Did it's you? more of a, like a, like, I did not. 
Or I did. You think it's in you to kill a person? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you physically have the capability <laughs> to kill a person? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, talking to Andrew. And then uh, afterwards, he must have given me a ride home. Or no, we will have to go back to my home again to move even uh, more yeah. thing. You had, to get right? the, you had to get the digitizing set mm -hmm. up, which maybe the YouTube viewers, if you're watching, maybe you noticed that they're up there again. Yeah, the actual episodes with titles and stuff now. Yeah. That's good. That looks good up there. So I got that whole set up from, from that house. And now the, the house is getting pretty weird. Like, I'm almost all the way out, but my roommates are not. Yeah. Yeah. We've even moved into the living room. It's making me a little bit nervous. I don't know if you're watching the show. Uh, trying to know. If you do. I. <laughs> yes, but like. Hi, China. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's so cool you're watching the show. Yeah, but it's like the, uh, uh, it's like so many things. From the, like I'm nervous from moving the stuff. I even went back today. Oh, yeah? yeah? I'm getting there, I guess. Now I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh. Again. Yeah, wait. Hold on. I lost track. I thought... Didn't you, like, go to sleep at some point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. When did you lay your head? Yeah, last night. So then I was, like, at, at that house, moving the stuff, put all the stuff into the uh, um, car. <laughs> yeah. Is it a car or is he not driving the truck? It's the truck. It's the oh, truck. Yeah. Car, truck. Tru are trucks cars? Yeah, I think car is the catch-all. Like, all trucks are cars, but not all cars are trucks. Yeah. Like, I'm going to get in my car, and then you say, Mel, yeah, that's a truck. A car is like a colloquial automobile thing. You can say, got in my automobile. If, if somebody said, um, like, you're going to get in your car, and then it uh, was a truck, yeah, and then you said something, that would make you a jerk. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, that's a truck. That's not a car at all. take my car, and then like, hey, this isn't a car, this is a truck. Yeah. Like, never mind, you cannot ride with me after <laughs> all. Get out. Yeah. Get out, go put your head under crown. Um, so I took that stuff, went over there, and I uh, set up the, su the, the stuff in, in where the place where my bed is. I guess it's the bedroom. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a very small room, now it's like completely full of that stuff. And uh, if I do you end up getting this like stay at home job and they kind of like roll out of bed and then get into go to work right but it's uh sort of like sleeping at your workplace yeah like oh it's instead of like work from home you live at work <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah yeah totally same thing but i uh did that moved all that stuff captured all those tapes i ended up staying up pretty late i set up a, a stereo at my home Oh, good. You gotta, so, that's like a first step type situation. You got to do that pretty early. Yeah. So you already set the radio station up, though, right? Yeah, I did that like immediately. That? Yeah. So my house, I mean, it was my grandma's house. All her stuff is already there to set up for lift. So now it's like extra stuff on top of Because like usually when you move into a place, it's not your, uh, you know, take grandmother's house. So that did you ever have any neighbors, like, mention or... I guess the, how would they know that it was you if, about your radio station, and they uh, don't know. in the like in the original neighborhood, like uh, in the South Capitol neighborhood. Nobody has ever said anything. Yeah. I doubt that they noticed. Really? Well, yeah. I don't know. I guess I would. Do, I would like. <laughs> you ever like just scan through the radio stations? I guess you only do that in your car. And maybe you're not just sitting at home in your car. Maybe they didn't notice. I don't know. You'd have to be scanning at the time. And I think most people, maybe got presets or something. Sure. I've, at, in my kitchen, we play the radio off of like a, um, off of a, like alarm clock radio. Mm hmm And so every time, basically we listen to K-Bird, the AM, like old time yeah. radio station most of the time. But sometimes that plays really irritating stuff. And so then you have to like change it and go scan for something and it's like the dial so you're always like scanning around you don't know where things are and most stuff is like awful modern pop and yeah awful hard if somebody had a radio station though 
in my neighborhood, I'd have a good chance of finding it that way, I think. Um, who knows who's listening on the radio? Uh, sometimes I think that we, maybe it's like the both of us are in a weird pod zone. Yeah. Yes, that's true. So like, wait, other people, they're listening too. You like it's like this? the phone all the time. Uh, like the yeah. phone is a media device, which is not good to me. But um, yeah, I just set the radio station immediately. I set that stereo, but then there's like the stereo is like on top of other grandma things already. It's a weird time. But uh, I made it, was able to capture all the episodes, which was four episodes. Wow. But it's not like it takes that much effort. Yeah. It takes like, it's like a time, though, definitely. Uh, Four uh, hours. I went to sleep. Uh, and then, oh, yeah, my brother's an air fryer. I use the air fryer. Oh, yeah. Which I don't yeah, I should probably just be eating home food. I, get the one to, I just want to eat on the program. Maybe now it's becoming a thing where I, like, I don't even need to eat, but I'm like, I want to it's be a, eating. It's activity, yeah. Uh, the pizza is good, though, but, uh, I woke up today, and uh, I don't know. My current drop is pretty wild because everything's in, in fluctuation. I'm trying to get hire new people all the time, like everywhere else. So I didn't work today. What? So they just, they just like hired a lot of people, new people. Wow. And I was like, whatever. You don't need, like I could you know I could if I wanted to, but I took the day off. Nice. What? Well, um. Kind of looking for another job, pretty much. But now I have one job, which I want to get, which is a stay-at-home job. And they keep telling me, like maybe you're gonna get this job. And then today, they sent me an email about the state worker vaccine code. What? What does that mean? Which means in October, all state workers are going to be required to be vaccinated. Yeah. And if you're not so I guess, I don't know what happened. You get fired. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, you're forced to resign or something. Hopefully you just get it. Yeah. But they said, like, they sent me another email, which is telling me that they're like, if you get this thing, then you're going to have to get vaccinated. It's like a one more step where it's like, you're probably going to get this job, and if you do, you need to do this, yeah. but we still can't really tell you that you're going to get the job. Yeah. Another I guess one of those, the vaccine one seems like even one step further than whatever the last one was that just said like. And then I got like another, so I got another email about a job at, in a kitchen at a mental hospital. Whoa. <laughs> in Lakewood. Whoa. And it's like on the bus line. So I, well, I didn't know they had mental hospitals anymore. They, they don't call it mental hospital. They call it something else. But there's one, actually I discovered one in Lucy. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm like biking around Lacey now um, uh -huh. at night, <clears throat> and like, oh, I think I didn't pick up one of the jalapenos. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's like that weird, like corporate, you know, that corporate center, like. Yeah, what between the bus line and like Maconies on the. Yeah, I wonder where James and Heather are too. Is the um, Zoom? On? I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, but they haven't. They, they, they haven't happened to call them. Yeah. But uh, whatever. We'll, we'll call them. We'll go over there if they don't. But um, pick around like that corporate center, and there's like, you know, like between like the transit center and like there's like where they have like those concerts and like they used to have the Lacey Farmers Market and stuff. Uh, yeah, like is that, is that like behind Redmire and Valley Yeah, kind yeah. Of there. yeah. And they had like movies in the park and stuff. If oh, you I know the that. spot. Yeah, it's got like a fake rock wall, not like a rock wall for rock climbers, but for like kids or something. And yeah. Like a stage. And yeah. They had I barbecue think, festival. Yeah, barbecue festival there, and like I don't know, some kind of like yeah, the concerts in the park are used to film those with the TCTV. Mm. The army band would play, and like weird cover bands of like Elvis and stuff. Yeah. That's where the mental hospital is in Lacey? But there's some weird, like, corporate, like, big building, like, like six stories or something, you know? They're tall. Yeah, they're, they're all around, like, the park. 
it's like a weird, it's like actually kind of, I mean, I don't really go to the city too much, but it seems like it's like a kind of like a three blocks of like uh, a city. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I was like, what is going on right here? It's not even like central downtown Lacey either. It's sort of like off to the side, right by the freeway. Yeah. That's like where I got the vaccine, actually. Oh. Over there in that. There's like a CMAR yeah. kind of over there, too. And there's like six buildings, and they have like corporate names on them, like, I don't know, like Rag Tech. Yeah. Or like, uh, yeah. Like names that you don't even know. It's like, what does that even mean? I mean, that one sounds like a technology company, but it's even more ambiguous than that. <laughs> so. But, uh. One of them is, um, one of those buildings is like a mental hospital because it says like behavioral, maybe behavioral hospital or something like that. Behavioral therapy? Yeah, maybe. That would be, I think, that, yeah, that sounds about right. One more is, it means mental hospital or maybe insane asylum, which is negative things to be saying. Yeah, I don't know, asylum, you know? That's the thing, though. Obviously, I guess there's still hospitals for people it's supposed to be like mental a, things. Yeah. Like psychologists or something but I think what's gone is the like forced confinement of people or something. Is it forced or it's like asylum is like where if you you seek asylum that's true it's like I need a place to be a safe place I think usually it was like people's families putting them in there though possibly yeah I don't know there's a lot of assumptions and it's confusing I mean one thing I don't know how true this is but I've heard that that's like yeah I don't know there was a lot of people in there, and then now a lot of those people are homeless because they couldn't really function, maybe. Yeah, it didn't, uh, it didn't help them, and then they didn't have any money. Yeah. But maybe they would have been homeless before. They would have been, yeah, and then they're in the ha asylum. Yeah, it's I all crazy. They're being treated particularly well, though. All right, crazy, not a good word to use, but anyway, they, yeah, that place is there. I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird, but uh, I don't know. They're going to, I have an interview. But I don't really want even want to do it. So uh, it's in Lakewood. Yeah. It's like on the bus. I don't really want to do it, but I just like was, have been applying to everything. Yeah. So I'm like gonna interview and then see like maybe. You know that's uh, maybe I told you this before. That's like when I I don't know my parents used to give me job advice. I think they've sort of given up at this point. But yeah. I would always say like. Just always be applying to jobs, always take interviews. You don't have to take the job if you don't want it, even if they offer it to you. Just like take interviews, gets you like interview experience and like lets you know what's out there and all that stuff. It's apparently That's what good. I'm doing. It's good to do, yeah. But it's like You'd be cooking food then or planning the meals? I I, I I don't know. I don't really know. It's like kitchen stuff. You're gonna be asking them a lot of questions at this interview, I yeah. guess. <laughs> but the Place is like, I mean, it has a bad rep online. I looked really? it up and I was like, hey, tell me about this stuff I saw online. Oh, yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's hard because it's like a state funded mental hospital, so who's a really big fan of that kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, like virus time, so I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm also like trying to get this other job too, but I go, well, what are they going to do? What if, I don't know what these other people are going to say? Lots of things. But at least I can just, I just feel like I can just like, I don't, I don't care about it that much, so I'm not too concerned. But it's a lot of stuff. And that, that was today, that was like this, this afternoon. Wow. Lots going on. Yeah. And then I helped my brother. Well, I didn't really help, I just tagged along. He's going shopping for the, he, he works at the farmer's market. Oh, yeah. And we went to Cash and Carry. Oh, I really like Cash and Carry. Um, but cash and carry is barren. What? There's a food shortage. What the hell? Yeah. Like the one that's out there, uh, yeah. on like, li by, not Lily, uh. They don't have a lot of things. What? Which is, they do have, I mean, they have a lot of things, but a lot of things are out of stock. It's like not food. They have like, they have like plates and like platters. No, I mean, they don't have a lot of that stuff too. What? Like. It's still like, but like, uh, because I guess I heard that the, the trucking industry is, and distribution, the, di the distribution industry, it's not even like, you know, farmers or whatever. Yeah. It's like truckers and factories are struggling to staff and also 
the getting virus. Oh yeah. So it's okay. like a little bit of both. That makes sense. I remember I remember like ten years ago everyone was like really freaked out that the truckers were all gonna lose their jobs to robot drivers. Yeah. That didn't happen. But the, so there's like a lot of things going on in the world and but there's a lot of food stuff. So it's like kinda seems like when you go there it's like, Oh my god, we're gonna also gonna starve to death but there's just like they don't have like certain things. Yeah. But there are there's still food there. It's not like specific stuff. And it's kind of like reminds me at least that it's such a ridiculous luxury. Yeah. That you're like, I want this thing. Like anything. And then you just have it. I guess you have money. Yeah. Which I always, like, the other thing about like the, the, the value of money and like going to, like, basically, I always, movies is my big metaphor for this one, you know? This, this whole story about the value of movies about the just like the production of movies oh, and yeah. the value and where does the value come from and our movie movies aren't farming you know it, yeah. you, you've heard this one right yeah definitely but like you they pay like i always think about that the biggest grossing movie of all time still which is the avengers endgame movie which i heard cost a billion dollars yeah to make but then it made back Billions also. Oh wow! Yeah. But then, what even is that? What even is that? You know, they're spending like billions of dollars on a movie when it could be, if you put like a billion dollars on farms. Yeah. <laughs> but then you like in the like movie. Universal just decides to be like, you know what? No more movies. We're farming now. Yeah. But like, people need farms, and yeah. you got this money. Well, like, hey, I want I want this thing to happen. Anything you can do anything with money, just throw money and stuff. But then, where, where does stuff come from? What is money? Throwing money at stuff, you can just have things. Uh, this is what it know, seems that's like. a lot to think about. <laughs> yeah, but right now, maybe you can't have things. Like maybe there's some things you can't have, and you're like, hey, because they they don't they run out. Let's say like um, they have like like wheat flour uh-huh. and like regular flour yeah but they're out of wheat flour oh maybe but they play of regular flour <laughs> okay but actually i mean this is really it might it might be like give me the wheat flour and they're like well we don't have any and they're like well i i, I have more money i'll put double and it's like well it's not here yeah we don't have it, <laughs> it doesn't, it's not here it's, not, it's gone fine i'll pay you Five times what it's worth. Yeah. Like, we don't have it. Uh, then you're like, oh, what do you do? But then I think we actually probably could get it eventually. We with go an, somewhere else. With eno- well, with enough money. They're like, okay, I guess it's worth it to us to go, I guess, to go get it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think they're like, here's like a million, like, I'll get it. Like, if somebody gives me a million dollars, I'll do, you know, I'll do anything. Like, hey, get me wheat flour somehow. I'm okay. Like, I'm like, you know, for a million dollars. Yeah. I'm like I'm like driving to the farm, you know. <laughs> like at that point. You're grinding the flour yourself. Yeah. Grinding <laughs> yeah. I mean, the wheat in the flour. Hey, you didn't quite make it to right before this. You I did like, not. I'm still Yeah. I'm still at the cash and carry. I think today. I'm slowing you down a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, I'm trying to go I try to go as slow as possible. <laughs> Cause remember that one day, like when I went to the movies and I ran into that uh, homeless lady who was carrying the dog food. Yeah. And I didn't do anything but ramble for the whole time. Yeah. And then at the end of it, I was like, wow. <laughs> that was like the best day I ever had. <laughs> and what day was that? So it's like I can actually get there. But uh, today is supposed to be James and Heather Mondays, but yeah. where are they? But actually, I did. I mean, maybe it's because I didn't go to work, but I did have a lot of things. Weird right now. Oh, the world's awful. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's awful, so awful. And like, it's back to it's back to the thing where I'm hating everybody. Yeah. Like, I see them and people are not wearing masks and being assholes. It's like the people who aren't wearing masks are already assholes. Like, yeah. And so then you get this double thing. You see someone in public and they're like, oh, they're not wearing a mask. And they're like rude to the employees at the same time and they're like getting in people's face. And yeah. Like, oh. It's so uh, like separating too. Yeah. Uh, so, well, yeah, they didn't have a lot of stuff. They're just going to say, like, we don't have stuff. Like, we're out of this stuff. Like, oh, yeah, okay. Um, but then my brother dropped me off at the house again because I thought maybe I'd have a couple hours. Um, I would pack and clean more, but I'm 
mostly done. Wow. Like, most of the stuff is just like, you know, I have to take it, just take, physically take it out, but it's like, most of my stuff is, is already out of there, but like, like I said, like kind of still in there. Stuff, but, uh, what a weird time. How are they, are they, are they feeling, Hard they have tell. a plan, they have a plan, or are they know. like, yeah. But I was there for a while, a couple hours, I did do something, but I did like take a nap like on the floor, <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was not bad. <laughs> Uh. And then I came down here, uh, and I, I went and got the water. I got a lot of water. I got two liters and like whatever the half gallon and this thing all on my back, and my back was mess, kind of messed up. Oh, oh, oh there's James the header. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't even get through my day. Oh, no. Gotta let him in. Gotta let him in. Uh oh. Did you hear that? They're not there. Oh, there it is. Is it Bomber? No, it's Heather. Hello. Nice. Don't forget to change. I am it. so Hello. sorry. Oh there yeah. Why? Oh, because you're late. Or whatever. Uh, I was like literally charging my phone to say hi to you. And I fucked it all up. So you didn't charge your phone, right? Um, I was at, I'm at Dave and Buster's. I just quit my job today. What? Hey. No more funeral stuff? You got another job? That's wild. Well, at a different funeral home. You got another one? I'm managing a funeral home now. I'm a manager, wow. bitch. Are you drinking? A different bus What? Yeah, that's good. Congratulations. Thank you. It's the time. It's the time to do that kind of thing, I guess. It's like everything's up. Yeah, on. I guess. Now you got a new... You're running a new funeral home. Uh-oh. Something did something funny, huh? Uh-oh, yeah. James isn't here either. I don't know where James is. I haven't called him yet. Oh, fuck. He's probably dead, dude. Really? <laughs> you think so? I yeah. hope not. Should I call him? Yes. All right. Do you only have like nine minutes left? No, I started late. Oh, cool. I have about 30 minutes left. 40? 30. Holy shit. Yeah. Nice. I started late. Yeah, uh, why do you- Cool. Why, you think James is dead? Um, I said, I said James uh, hasn't called back yet either. Freddy's here. Hi. Hi there. I'm here. I said- Hi, hey, Freddy. James hasn't called back yet, and Heather said, Oh my god, he's probably dead. <laughs> what? No. He's okay. Yeah. He's not online right now, though. Oh, wait, I gotta, I gotta move this over here. Heather, we're almost well, at episode 4,000. I saw James oh. at about 5 this morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that, oh, yeah, I guess oh. Why? Why? That's night, night time. This motherfucker, this motherfucker messaged me at like, or no, he started trying to call me at like 2.30 in the morning. Oh, that's way too early. Yeah, way too early. Um, I didn't answer, but then like I woke up at like 3.30 and he said uh, he was trying to get a ride somewhere, but somebody was going to pick him up. And so I ended up picking him up and bringing him over to my house while he waited for this other person to pick him up. So he could, like, wait over in the comfort of my ghetto instead of the ghetto ghetto he was in. At 3 a.m.? No, uh, like... Oh, yeah, at 3 a.m. Yeah, you're right, at 3 a.m. 3.30-ish. Dang. Um, and then the guy picked him up from my house, probably like four something. Some, some guy, huh? Yeah, some dude. Man. Some yeah, stranger guess, from the internet. A, a friend of his? A friend. Uh, no, a stranger. They're his friends though, I mean, that's why I keep calling them, but um... I mean, that's a, it's... I don't want you to be, like, uh, judge you, but I'm... <laughs> Kind of concerned about his thing. I am, uh, you know, I'm always concerned about James. 
Yeah. Be honest, James, if you're listening right now, like, bro, I am concerned about you I'm kinda all the time, and I am constantly worried that you're gonna die, and that's a shitty thing to be worried about. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's concerned because we care. Yeah. But at the same time, for me, yeah. at least, like, I've never known anything else, so I can't, I mean, like, convinced. And, uh, well, you know, unfortunately, we all care about James more than he cares about himself. Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh, it's, um... I think, well, it's either that or he's... I mean, everything's been fine so far, I guess. We're not really. <laughs> like, but not, um, far, as far as, like, get being... Whatever. Victimized. Um, he's living. Yeah. Enjoying himself. Yeah. Are you are you in the car now? I am. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I've been uh a bitching with my coworker for a hot minute. I thought you do. What? Fun, fun. Hold on. Oh I gotta eat my pills before I eat this rest of pizza. Oh, that was close. I was wondering about that. I was like, I probably should have said something. Yeah. What? Hello. What, James? Hi. Hi. Uh, it's Monday. I know. Did you just start or are you just calling me before you end? I'm just calling you. I've already started. We're already almost we're, uh, in the trail and we have 25 minutes left. James, episode you wait till you end? 15 Over. days. We have 25 minutes left. Oh, okay. You want to get on the thing? Heather, well, you uh, Yeah, I will. All Bye. right. Get on the thing. Hey, Heather James is alive. Oh. On the thing. That's good. Is David Buster's, it's like arcade still, they're doing that stuff? It is. Uh, my boss gave me a gift card for it, which I'm assuming he probably just had at his house. Was like, he was oh. not very happy with me for putting in my two weeks, but it was something. Yep, well, they're not going to be happy about it. They're not supposed to be, I guess. Okay. No. Hold on. Yeah, hold on, Kenny. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I did. I started holding on. Yeah. I want food. I forgot my... I, yeah, I got new pills. I got echinacea today, but I didn't bring it. Echinacea? I think you're only supposed to take that when you really need to boost your immune system a little bit. But then it, wouldn't it be make sense that you just want to have a boosted immune system all the time? No, but you, yeah, you don't want to boost it all the time. You want to, like... You like start feeling like you're like, oh, I feel a little less good than usual. Then you start taking echinacea. Oh, that's what my mom said, I guess. She always gave us echinacea when we were like, oh, I'm not feeling the greatest. She's like, oh, take this echinacea now. Well, what if, if I take, take it all the time? If I take it before, I start feeling I'm not feeling well. Then your, your immune system evens out maybe or something. Well, I was, I went to, oh, we also went to Winko today. Winko. Winko and, um... Cash carry. But on the way, at the end of Winko, they had like vi <laughs> they had like vitamin impulse buys now. Oh. Which is a new thing to me. But like. Hi. Hi, James. Hey, James. I impulse bought uh, echinacea. But maybe it'll be good. How are you? Yeah. What, what are you doing? Are you. I've been trying to do something, do something or other, just leaving my fucking house for a long time and. I'm, I'm starting to feel really crazy. I feel like uh, stuff is just happening over and over again. It's world is weird. I'm getting what? weird vibes from everybody today. I don't know if you, at least you two, right? Yeah, I'm getting weird vibes from everybody too, and I'm uh, over it. I think that is it the apocalypse. Maybe I hope so. I don't no. know. It kind of seems. You see the thing about in Afghanistan with the Taliban yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Things crazy. The world seems. I mean, I guess like it's been bad with the whole virus and. Stuff, but really, it seems like we're just like it's getting spiraling. worse. We're spiraling into an apocalypse. But wait, we gotta. I mean, there's still there's still good things, you know. The the, uh, but <laughs> you gotta pay attention to the good things, because uh, what, what's the point of like being, uh, you know, being like, oh, it's spiraling into. I, like, yeah. Every time I'm like, oh, oh man, the news and the COVID, and yeah. like, holy shit, and then I just go and I take a walk. <laughs> you go take a walk through the neighborhood and you look around. And, yeah. Nice. yeah. It's sunny, or it's maybe it's dark and it's good. Yeah. I did take a walk today, and then someone was watching pornography in their house. Oh, you saw it. The window, like no, tr no shades in the window. Yeah, like, you saw it. Holy them. shit! They're watching pornography. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, you know, then I wasn't thinking about the bad stuff in the world. Thinking about neighbors, <laughs> what your neighbors up to. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we were having a song about last night a little bit. I saw a guy putting weird powder on himself, but I didn't get there yet. How, how was your week, James? How was the week for you? Fine. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, what's the thing? What we were saying earlier with the, uh, James, you seen? What? That's hard. James, you seem off. I am off right now. I'm just sort of like pissed off that I had a million people. Is there anything you want to you want to yeah. talk about it? We, we're here to listen. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the deal is. I feel like everybody's being uh, fake and weird, and um, yeah. I keep the people keep saying one thing, and then it's not what happens, and people keep uh, fucking yeah. off and falling out, and I don't know what's going on. But I just don't. Um, Mark I don't get it. got really crazy recently too. It's like. Something's in there. Everybody's just acting weird and like, like <laughs> one, thing says, one thing's gonna happen and then never comes through and I'm like, why is this happening repeatedly? And uh, it's starting to really get to me a little bit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, whatever, fuck the world. Um, well, I got water up to that, like before I left. Yeah. I don't know what you just said. I was getting, <laughs> Uh, I was going to the well to get water, and there was a guy at the well. He was pouring what I thought was flour on himself. Just like throwing flour on himself. As it looked like it was flour, like like the food. Uh huh. And I didn't think about this until just now. <laughs> there might be a shortage on a lot of food, so if it was flour, I was like, hey, well, we got a. Hey, but, is that is that wheat flour? Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for that wheat flour. After he left, I looked at the bag, and it was diatomaceous earth. Oh, shit, he's got bugs. Oh, is that right? That's bug stuff. He's putting it on himself, though. Isn't that, like, acidic or You're something? You're not really supposed to breathe that in. Yeah, that's yeah. It. it's like tiny shells that, like, cut the bugs. Yeah. No, that's... He, that, he you put it know. on himself. That's... That's freaky. That's when I had bed bugs. Yeah. At that one house, that's... I just, like, put earth over everything. Did they jump? On me? No, they're not jumping. When they got by, they, they when can't I, jump. When I went by them, they can't jump. It's the eggs. Oh, but that doesn't make any sense. I don't think you can actually put diatomaceous earth on yourself and have yeah. anything. But it's now I'm kind of crazy. I am itchy now. Yeah. So there is that. I also saw another guy with like a heroin needle, like in his ear, <laughs> like a pen. Ah, ah, <laughs> well, wait, I was behind it, like, uh, like like sticking out, or just like. I was assuming that it was heroin, oh, but yeah. it was definitely a needle. It's like. I don't know, I don't... Oh, like, behind his ear. You said in his ear. No, no, no. Like, like, this no like, like, like a pen. Like he's yeah, holding a pen. I see, I gotcha. And I saw another guy who was walking down the street sharpening a knife. Wow. <laughs> On the street. <laughs> yep. Yep. How... What games they got at that place, Heather? Are you talking to me? What, yeah. game, what games they got at, at Bulls and Busters? A lot. When what did you play? All what kinds. Did you about it? What's it, what uh, did you say? We played a lot, lot of skee-ball. Huh? Um, skee-ball. Lots of skee-ball. Skee-ball. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> um, there was... <coughs> um, we played... It wasn't DDR, but it was like... I think it was called like Pump Up or something like that. Something stupid. But it was like, so instead of like the up, down, left, and right, it was like up, up, wait, it was like diagonal. diagonal. Oh, it was yeah. weird. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> diagonal left, diagonal right, and middle, or some shit like that. Did you? Down and, well, it was fucking dumb shit. Uh, we were supposed to play this other game, but my coworker was like, well, I gotta still do a good job at work because I didn't quit my job yesterday. <coughs> so. <coughs> she called the rest of it off. What? <coughs> she called the rest of it off because she didn't quit her job today. Okay. So she was like, well, I can't stay up and get drunk for too late. What a bitch. What a bitch. We gotta be uh, responsible. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> um, I know. I had a 
no, James. If it was me and you, we'd be out till fucking three in the morning. And then I'd say, oh, shit, I gotta go back. I gotta go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling safe right now, Anna? Am I what? Are you, do you feel safe right now? Yes, I feel safe. Yeah, that's good. But, um, uh, <laughs> those games, like, those places like that, that have you been to Dave & Buster's already? No, I haven't. I've been to things similar to it, I imagine. It's like, is it... It's like Chicka Cheese. Or like, it's like uh, a uh, like with, with booth. Like Wonderland? Oh, yeah. I went to like a barcade. Is that yeah, it's kind of like a barcade. I don't quite deal with curated fun spaces anymore. Like, kind of like a, I don't know if it's, I don't know if become a, a curmudgeon or something, but like, it's like, they're all just like Disneyland kind of places where it's like, where you're going to go there and it's like set up for fun. Even, even restaurants are starting to get weird to me. Where it's like just like you're going to a place where people are like doing their job and then their their, their job is to like help make you happy and you're going there and then they're doing like the dance and then all the games and stuff and you're trying to happy birthday <laughs> you're like paying the money to, to play the games and have a good time it's like getting weird to me like I don't know if I can I can't handle that kind of thing anymore. Um. <laughs> What are you eating, Heather? McDonald's. 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 Are you using the mobile Kentucky app? Kentucky Fried Chicken and a pizza. Are you using the mobile app? Did they ask you about that, uh, app, that mobile app? Yep. They always ask me now, are you using the mobile app? Um, yeah. You're using it now, right? I'm using it now, yeah, it's pretty good. good deal. I'm doing it. I almost got my coworker to be on TV, but then she drove away really fast. Mm. I said, oh shit, I just remembered I was charging my phone for this. You want to be on TV? And then she drove away. My phone might hop on. I'm trying to get into an instance here right now. I was just on the phone with him when you guys called. You're on the phone with somebody else, huh? What up? Yeah, that's why, uh, that's why I didn't even realize what time it was. I don't know what that I was doing. Mark left a message again. I guess he, Mark, the other day, like three or four days ago, being very... Well, actually, I also <laughs> did some weird things somehow, and, like, I get confused about phone numbers, and it looks like that, um... Uh... Yeah, but um, my my job stuff to call the program. What? A little bit, because I I think I'm like getting some. Sometimes I put like my own personal phone number, or I put like the program number. Oh, by accident? Yeah. But this person I talked to them already. Oh yeah. Hopefully they're gonna email me and not call. Keep trying to call this place. I'm kind of I'm like looking. I, Heather, I'm also like looking for to change my job, which is I've never done. Uh, oh, Mark left a lot of messages. Oh, are, you guys, are you guys up to date on the Mark the guitar player situation right now? No. So Mark left, no. he left a message uh, like almost close to 3 in the morning one night. It was like really aggressive. Uh, this one's from 5 a.m. too. So. Like he was saying aggressive things, a lot of like slurs and kind of like threats to Kenny yeah. and like really insulting things. He's oh. but, He's been changing his medication. He's like used to be on some like anti B like mean medication and now oh, who's this? He's changing to a different one. Who's this? Is he your friend, James? Hey, hey what up? Hey. Hi. Are you, are you James's friend? Just chilling. What's up? What hey. are you guys doing? Hello. We're on are you, are, uh, how'd you find us? Are you James's friend? Yeah. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi. Have you ever been on TV before? No. Are you the, is, it, is this the person that you're like waiting for? No, well, internet no. connection's on stable. What? Um, well, Mark, Mark left a, he left a moon, moon message and then called again and then, Apologize, and then we kind of went back and forth a lot of times, basically. 
and now he called again. I kind of want to do. Let's see what. Let's see what how he starts off. We're gonna listen to the first okay, message call him. from another from a caller. What'd you eat for breakfast, friend? What's your name? Andrew. Andrew. What'd you eat for breakfast? Uh, sorry. What? I'm sorry, I'm nervous a little bit. I've never done this, so. Oh, don't be nervous. Yeah, it's okay. Libby watches this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. What'd you, what'd you eat for breakfast? Oh. Wait, what did you say? What did you eat for breakfast? I don't eat breakfast. Oh, uh, what do you eat lunch and you don't call it breakfast? I think if I eat, like, if somebody asks me <laughs> what I eat for breakfast, I just tell them the first thing I eat, even though it's probably. Brunch. Lunch-ish. It's more like lunch. I don't really eat breakfast either, but I I'll call, it, I call it breakfast. Huh? I'll be munching all the time. You want to snacks, no meals, huh? You like some sausage for breakfast, proffers for lunch? I, I like what? I really eat lunch for dinner. dinner. <laughs> Alright, I think Mark's, I, I'm, I'm looking, I'm, I'm kind of uh, looking ahead a little bit, but I think, I, I like the snacking all the time thing too, that's like, we're, I was talking about walks earlier, and how Ooh, I like are. that too. And like, you ever go on a walk in the neighborhood and there's just like berries all the time in the summer, if you just like can pick berries like almost your whole walk. Yeah. It's great. I pretty much feel like, I'm, I don't really eat meals either. Yeah. And just like, eat, I do kind of eat all day, just like snacks and stuff, but now especially with this new... Takeout life. I guess I wasn't like sitting down eating stuff and I already had a takeout life, but now it seems even more snacky. Yeah. Uh, here's. We're gonna listen to a message from a caller here. Uh, <coughs> Jenny and Freddie, <coughs> you all are invited to the biggest party <coughs> of galaxies. Oh, yeah? This is gonna be rock and roll. Yeah, it marks back to it being this absurd. Is Dr. Madman, that's my stage name. And my real name is Mark L. Hembry. Yep. And you know what? The world is going to be invited to this party. Well, I'm sorry about all the trouble I've caused. I want to repent. If everybody's invited... And repent is a word. Is. You look up in the dictionary, it means confess. I want to confess all my sins. I want to confess everything. Mm. I want to have a contract with God, not the devil, God. Uh-oh. I think you guys are all blessed people, no, and we want like to prove it to you. We are the Roman angels. This is our <laughs> band. It's getting wild. We're going to rock and roll for eternity. You guys are all invited. The world is invited. It's going to be the biggest party in the world when we get to heaven. I'm scared. I know uh, you sometimes don't believe in heaven, but it's there. Uh, it's real. It's God it's bless. Weird, uh, I don't believe in it. You know it's what? Real. I said you don't believe I'm going to click my fingers. And I'm going to be no normal. Anyway, I click my fingers. Oh, yeah. Mark was trying uh, to be a normal person. and then I had some macaroni and cheese. My stomach was upset. I'd be a normal person. Uh, man, uh, instead of putting Tabasco sauce on it, just put salt and pepper. It's kind of cool. But anyway, that's, um, like, Kenny, yes. I'm sorry if I ever caused you any trouble at all. You didn't really cause me trouble. And Freddie, same thing. Hey, you you guys are God bless people. You make perfect uh, videos. The trouble. And you really do a like, job. And you work for, for doing the right thing. You so know? I'm, I'm going to pause this for a minute here. It's like the, the, the same, like, the apology thing, Mark keeps saying the apologies, but it's like, they're like these weird, like, round about apologies where he's like, I'm sorry I caused you trouble. That's like, I'm sorry if you felt bad. Right. Like, that's not, like, that's like, uh, I feel like somebody... Not really apologizing. Yeah, people don't know how to apologize, I think. A lot of people have a hard time with it. They don't want to apologize, so they don't... Well, then I guess if they don't want to, then that's valid. They're being real with you, I guess. Well, <laughs> but he's... He really wants to, he just doesn't have to have the, uh, the, the He's apologizing in a round way, so you say, like, I, you don't want to say, like, I was wrong. Yeah. That's basically the apology. Well, yeah. It's like, I was wrong, and I made a mistake. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm but, sorry I did that. Don't, you got to focus on your own action when you apologize. Yeah. You say, I'm sorry that I did that. 
Not, I'm sorry that you hurt, you felt bad. I'm sorry I made you feel bad, or I'm sorry you were like, didn't like what I did. It's like, that's not an apology. Yeah. This is my customer service trick, but I always say thank you for your uh, patience. Oh, yeah. Never say sorry to somebody. Is, the, is, okay. is there an honest way to say sorry if I hurt you without, like, like, uh, like they honest, like they really don't understand how they hurt you. Yeah, I think you have to. I don't know where I'm. Um, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I kind of get what you're saying. I kind of get what you're saying. Mine, look, I, I made a mistake. That's what an apology is. You're saying like I was wrong and I made a mistake and I shouldn't. Like I'm sorry about that. And say sorry I hurt you. Is like uh, you don't feel good about it, but it's like just like a. You should gotta figure it out more. Or something. Maybe Mark. Yeah, maybe Mark didn't understand. What were you saying, Andrew? Wait, what? You, you said something too. It was hard to hear for a second. I mean, I mean, I think instead of saying I'm sorry, I would say I apologize, and then say what your apology is for. Yeah. If that's the more respectful way to do it, yeah. Instead of saying I'm sorry, you know. Yeah. Because sorry. I'm sorry could mean like. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't um, come right now, or, you know, like, stupid little shit like that. Totally, yeah. Oh, so I totally agree on what she was saying. Yeah. I understand what she was talking about. Heavy. <laughs> I'm, yeah, Mark, he's getting, he's getting uh, um, I guess he's trying to apologize for the thing. Uh, you know, my name's Mark Henry, so I'm yeah. signing off. I hope you guys have a blessed evening. I'm dark, sorry right? to call you at it's five after dark, three. Yeah. That's it's crazy. Name. But see, that's my that's my schedule. Well, I wake up in the middle of the night and have all these ideas for rock and roll. And I put it on tape. Or sometimes I put it on CD. I've got CDs. You can have as many CDs as you want. Yeah, the world's weird. The world's getting weird. Andrew, you get the vaccine? <laughs> What? Did you get the vaccine, Andrew? Uh, not yet. Oh, go get it. What are you doing? Why, not, why haven't you gotten it yet? Um, I don't know. I, don't, I honestly do not leave my house at all. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and then I don't know what's really in those shots. So I am not going to get a shot right now until oh, I know it's a good shot. I know what's in that, actually. I like I read this thing from a doctor who's kind of explaining it a little bit more, and what it is is it's, it's like basically there's this thing on the COVID virus that's like this protein chain on the outside. Uh -huh. and basically, it's, it's basically a decoy protein chain. It's like the protein chain that's on the outside of the COVID thing. It's not even the whole virus. It's just like this one piece that the vaccine is like teaching your body to recognize. So when that shows up in the body, it attacks that thing and then that like lets it, it's basically like the weak spot on the, the like uh, the Death Star or something, right? It's like the one spot where like, it's a weak spot on the virus. And so yeah. it teaches your body's immune system to pinpoint that thing. And so then when the virus actually, if you are actually exposed to the virus, your body already like, sees this one protein chain and is like, oh, I'm going to, like, fuck that thing up. And then it destroys it and, it, like, it is, has a way easier time beating the virus. Because the problem with it is it's not that it's not going to figure out how to fight the virus. It's just while it's doing all the work trying to figure out how to, like, kill this virus, the virus is multiplying inside of your body and then you're in the hospital, you know? It's like, and so then by the time it actually figures out how to kill the virus, the virus is everywhere and there's so many. But, like, at the very beginning, if it already knows to look for this protein chain, your immune system can just like take it out immediately. Apparently, that's what the virus is doing, or the, the vaccine is doing, is it's like basically teaching your body how to look for this one thing that kills the virus. Go get it, anyway. Okay, it's available at the grocery store. You can go to the grocery store, and it's uh, real quick. Uh, I'm gonna record messages of the future, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, hey, future, it's us the past. Uh, what do you have, what do you have to say in the future, Andrew? Hi, future. Hi. <laughs> Hope you like your new job. Andrew, what do you have to say in the future? It's going to be weird. 
It's true. Yeah, it's all right. Really weird. Oh. Bye, future. Uh-oh. Bye. Oh, the world is so weird right now. I know, we were just talking about this, uh, man, but it's like... I saw, oh yeah, I saw Kim. Kim said that the world is weird. And everybody agrees. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Is it the apocalypse? And if it is, I mean, I always say, like, if there's, just, like, if I think I'm going to die, sometimes I'm sitting here, I think, oh, like, am I going to die? But really, if I thought I was going to die, hopefully I'd be doing something about it. Yeah. And I'm not really doing anything about it. It's just kind of zen. Okay, I have a question. Uh -huh. Are you guys... Are you guys like TV movie kind of people? Yes. Okay. What if the world is gonna be like the 100? What do you do you think it's gonna be like is that? that? That's like, the one where everybody like 100 people disappear and then they return. Is that right? Yeah. 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 And then they like have to like deal with like the world and how it is while the people are up in the space or whatever. And maybe they're like, maybe they're not even actually them and they're magic or something? Yeah, and then they like, get used to the world and then they take off their little thingies and then... Yeah. They just do I, I, I didn't watch the whole show, but isn't that like, like, what if the world was like that? That's like what, the premise of any show. Right? <laughs> like... But yeah, that's what I think that's gonna be like. I mean, you think that a hundred people are gonna vanish and then come back in 20 years without aging? And maybe have magical powers? Maybe yeah. already no, 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 wait, that's not the right show, is it? Wait, what? I don't know, I think it I thought the 100 movie. was where, like, the there was, like, over. people in the sky and then, like, one ship crashed or something. Yeah, that's the one, yeah, that's the one. Uh, what the show? Like not the one, not the one where they're, like, in the airplane. Andrew, watch I think, the show. Kenny, I think you're thinking of, like, The Happening. Oh, uh, maybe. Watch yeah, the, oh, watch the show. Well, the you can where they're like, where was. they're like running away from My like the wind and shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, watch a show. Watch a show, okay? It's all uh, right. James, you can tell him about it. You want to hang out with James later? Oh yeah, James, don't um, what? don't don't be. I mean, not not friends. Don't don't like uh, get together with people without the vaccine. That's the only way to get it going. All right, oh, well. TV. You got to demand it from your partners. It's I the think. program. Yeah. <laughs> the oh wait, there's a friend. Oh, you just missed it, DD. Oh, what was it? I don't know. <laughs> it's Monday. Is that the end? Yeah. Oh, it's over. Yeah, it's over. You guys were late. Oh. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. TCTV Library, thank you, TCTV, the very very the video, the the video, the 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 the